guys, this is Betsy Feldman for Paper Tray Ink and it's time for another Make It Monday video. Today I'm going to show you how to make some faux epoxy embellishments using die cuts and clear embossing powder. Alright, so you're going to want to start off with a couple of different die cuts. You're going to want something for your base shape and then something for your detailed shape. So I selected a solid circle and then I'm using a snowflake from the Silver White Winters uh, die collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I cut them from white cardstock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ink pads and a blending sponge to add some color. So here I have aqua mist ink and I'm just going to blend that so I get a nice even coverage of color. Okay so I'm happy with that. I'm going to do the same thing with my snowflake this time using green ink. Here I have my new leaf ink pad and I'm just going to sponge it with a nice even coat of color. Now I'm going to pull out my Versamark ink pad and I'm going to start off with the shape, the snowflake. And I'm going to press that into my Versamark pad and then I'm going to take clear embossing powder and if you have a tweezer or a scissors or something that you can, I just use an old scissors, that you can grip the die cut with so that you're not interfering with the embossing powder too much. I'm going to sprinkle that with a coat of clear embossing powder and then just go ahead and heat that. Alright, so that was one coat. While it's still warm, I'm going to sprinkle it again with another coat of embossing powder and heat it again. And I'm going to repeat this for three layers of clear embossing powder. So that's two. And here's my third layer of embossing powder. All right, so we're going to set that aside and let it cool while I clean up my mess. So now we're going to take the circle and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to press it into my embossing ink, my Versamark pad. And once again, we're going to coat this with three layers of the clear embossing powder. Here's layer two. And here's layer three. And when I'm finished with layer three, I want to make sure that my snowflake die cut is close by. So I just finished heating layer three and while that's still hot I'm going to take my prepared snowflake and I'm going to drop that right into that hot embossing powder. Be careful because it is pretty hot so you don't want to touch it too much and then just go ahead and press that into that warm embossing powder. I'm going to get this out of my way. And if you need to, you can heat it again with the snowflake sitting there. So you can melt that powder again and press it down into that warm powder. And if you need to, you can use something like a little pin to kind of press down some of those areas. And then if you feel that there are areas that aren't uh, very secured or aren't pressing down into the embossing powder, you can heat it until it's warm and then do just one more coat of embossing powder over the whole thing. So let's turn those embellishments into a card. Here I have a panel of fresh snow linen cardstock embossed with a sentiment from the Silver White Winter set. 